it was very interesting going through obtaining my private license in a post 9-11, immediately post 9-11 environment. I can remember my first solo cross country, which is already a little bit scary because if, you know, you have to rely on yourself and these two guard helicopters came up next to me and were like, alter your course immediately. Apparently there was a football game going on at Texas A&M and I didn't realize it. You're not allowed to fly anywhere near large groups of people because they were afraid there were still terrorist attacks going on. So I kind of took a deep breath and I got on the, on the horn with Houston flight following and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you anyway. We're trying to keep these, you know, Boeings from hitting each other or whatever. And I was like, okay, well, be advised, sir. I'm a student on her first solo cross country, and I just had to alter my course. You could hear him drop everything and like focus on me. And he was like, okay, where are you right now? What are your coordinates? I finally said, look, I can see cows. I can see probably street signs by this time because I'm so low, <laughs> you know? So I saw the beacon through the weather and it was such a relief to see the beacon and I landed and I got out and I took a deep breath and I was just like, wow. And I think it was then that I knew I could take anything, like any kind of stressful situation because I didn't freak out. I just handled it. And I had full confidence in myself that I could do that for the rest of my career. Mm -hmm.